It's Friday, September 7th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. I have some really great, great old friends, and I heard from one of them this week. Uh, Sharon and I go way, way back. Sharon was very instrumental in the beginnings of Sanctuary. Uh, she's the person that designed and helped design uh, Striper's costumes. She did Bear and Cross. She's done so many things uh, over the years and uh, very instrumental in helping to start Sanctuary, as I said. One of, the, uh, one of just a very small handful of people that really got it off the ground. And uh, so Sharon has been a great friend for years. And I heard from her this week on Facebook. She says, Pastor Bob, I heard a stat last night. One out of 10 American families cannot get enough food in their homes to stay full. What, are you, what you're doing there in Nashville is not just a food outreach. It is addressing a national emergency. You should give us pointers on how to start a ministry like this in our own cities. Do a Pastor Bob daily on this, please. We have food banks here, but nothing like your ministry. There is a difference. Thanks. Well, thanks, Sharon. And this is an excellent question. And you know I'm more than happy to answer it because this is something that's very dear to my heart. You know, we have a lot of food waste, first of all. We have enough food to feed everybody. It just gets thrown away. Now let me talk about this. Did you know that when you go to a grocery store and you look at the produce aisles, in other words, the fruits and the vegetables, 50% of that is thrown away. Why? Because we refuse to buy it. If we pick up an apple and there's a little bit of a blemish on it, we'll pick something else that's perfect. And so all of those things that have imperfections are thrown away because people don't buy them. It's not the grocery store's fault, by the way. It's the consumer's fault. We're way too picky. So 50% is thrown away. But of that 50% that's actually taken home, 35% of that is thrown away because it's set too long in the refrigerator, um, it's spoiled before you got to it, waste in preparing, whatever it might be. And so in actuality, it's almost 70% of the produce that we manufacture, that we grow, is thrown away, is wasted. Just think how many people that would feed. Not just that. If a can is dented, it's discarded. Uh, a lot of things. You know, <clears throat> that's how we feed the homeless here. <clears throat> Excuse me, in Nashville. It's through the food that is either expiring or discarded. and all of it there is nothing wrong with you know the food is very very healthy past its expiration date the expiration date only means that you can't sell it past that point it certainly is usable past that point and there are a lot of things like eggs for instance are are perfectly good two weeks after their expiration date and there are many others we could talk about so so what we do actually is we get the food from only one store uh, that that gives us their expiring food and those fruits and vegetables that no one will buy. And we pick up generally two days a week, sometimes three, four. This week it was five, which was great. But uh, we don't do even pick up all their food. We only do two days. They have expiring food every day. And that food we distribute. Now, we feed people underneath a bridge here in Nashville, uh, homeless folks. Um, we personally do, and when I say we, I mean myself and my parents, my father and mother. Um, and we have others that have joined us now too and have volunteered. But we basically fix the meals for people on Fridays and Sundays. On Fridays, we generally have 50 to 75 people. On Sundays, it's, it's closer to 150 people. But... There's a lot more food than that. So we distribute to other ministries that are feeding the homeless. And they come here on Mondays, basically, and everybody picks up the food. Uh, one ministry is serving about 250 people on Monday nights. Uh, others are serving uh, 100 at a time, 150 at a time, 75 at a time. So with everyone, it adds up to over 4,000 meals a month. Now, that's basically from only two days of discarded food from Trader Joe's where we get our food. Trader Joe's is owned by the Aldi Corporation, 
which is a German company. All of my friends in in Europe will know Aldi's. They're in every small town all throughout Europe. So, um, so that's a blessing. But you know, folks, there's so much food that goes around, and you know, sometimes people say I can't feed my family, and my advice to them. And some of you are going to say, no, Pastor Bob, I can't believe you're saying this. My advice to them is go dumpster diving. Learn how to do it. You know, there's so much food that's just thrown away in dumpsters. It's still packaged. It's still in bags. There's nothing on safe about it. It's expiring and they can't use it, but it's still perfectly good. And uh, you you want to watch a movie called Dive, D-I-V-E. Great movie. And Actually, the movie has a little bit of, inf- of misinformation there. They pretty much pick on Trader Joe's for throwing away all their food. And uh, and I guess maybe there are some Trader Joe's stores that do that, but our Trader Joe's store here in Nashville has been extremely supportive and wonderful in helping uh, our food situation. But they just show basically how to go dumpster diving, and they give all the statistics and all the food that's being thrown away. So how do you feed the homeless? How do you start a ministry like this? Well, we have two things. We, we hear about families many times that are really struggling. Uh, a father may be out of work and there's no more food in the home or whatever. And uh, we always have people that let us know and we fix them a box. We have a food shed here at our home and it's just an extra building that we just put all the food in. Uh, maybe you've seen some of the videos if you haven't. Uh, I should probably do another video of all of that. But um, so we're able to feed people individually as well. But I have a, a, a three-point outline for those people that would like to to start a, a homeless ministry. In other words, taking food to the homeless people who could really use it. And uh, it's these three things. Number one, find homeless people. Number two, find food. Number three, feed them. I know that's a little simplistic, but you know, that is the outline, and that is how you do it. You just go to the grocery stores and say, you know, can I have your expiring food? Now, everybody will give you bread, but there are some stores that will give you something else. So we had to find a, we had to sign a legal waiver to do that. You know, we were responsible for the food when we take it away so that nobody can sue them, but that's what most grocery stores are afraid of, is that if somebody gets sick on some food, you know, whatever it might be, that they might get sued. And so, uh, so they just throw it away. But folks, you know, there are some that are a little more humanitarian and you can find them if you look. Go to Trader Joe's if you're here in the United States. Go to Aldi's if you're in other countries. Aldi's has actually helped us in Switzerland and, and some other places as well in, in the distribution of food in some of those places. So, so keep looking. But you know, you can find it. And it really isn't that hard to just get started. It doesn't take much. Just get started, prepare it. There's some easy ways of preparing it. If some of you are really interested about this even more, let me know. I'll bring my mom in on it. She's the one that uh, handles all of the food distribution. She's 82 years old. She um, she cooks the food two days a week, and then she sorts it, distributes it, and everything else the rest of the week. Uh, it's a huge job, and her and my dad pick up the food and, and, uh, and uh, you know, do all of the the work with it, and uh, I don't help as much as I wish I could. Uh, they're really busy with it. It takes up a lot of their time, and uh, I, man, I appreciate them for doing it. They're really good at it. Our homeless people just love them to death. So, folks, I encourage you to get involved, not just because it's a good idea, but it's something Christ told us to do. Again, if you have some questions, comments, and you'd like to know more about Homeless Ministry, let me know. And you can go to our website, that's uh, thebridgebunch.com, and see what we're all about. God bless you. Have a great day.